Hello, this is Tola uh, from Travel Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can render uh, your scene in Blender uh, with uh, no errors. Uh, usually, uh, what I would used to do was uh, when I would render out a scene in Blender, I would just uh, pretty much go to the movie format, usually AVI RAW or FFmpeg video, and then um, render out it out that way. Uh, the only problem with that is uh, sometimes the video would uh, or the rendering would crash and this is after it had been on for like a day and a half of rendering and then I would have to do it again so I just wasted, wasted a whole day and a half rendering a scene and uh, that was very productive so I'm going to show you a way you can do it to avoid any kind of crashes or if you have a slow computer you can uh, use this system to render out in segments um, and actually to save time in the long run. So what you want to do first of all is once you've uh, had your scene set up what you want to do is either change this to PNG or any image format that you would want. Usually I use PNG or JPEG. After you've done that you want to make sure you set the resolution and uh, make sure the hunt the uh, scaling is at 100 percent and then you've uh, chosen your frame rates here usually I use 24 frames per second which is the default which is what I always use and you want to set your file destination here where you want your images to go to once they've been rendered and once you've got all this set up you click on animation and once that's done what uh, Blender will do is it will output images according to the size of your uh, timeline number of frames per on your timeline uh, for myself I've already done this uh, with this scene here and it'll just output all these images for you you don't even have to um, you can if you want to uh, title title your uh, file or your your file but if you don't know just count from uh, you no know, one to as many as you've had on your timeline and once you've done that, you want to click go up here to the uh, this the top of Blender. Uh, click on this uh, drop down menu, and go to video editing. Once you've gone to video editing, the video editing sequence um, editor will come up. And once you've done that, you want to go to add, and then image, and you want to navigate to where you saved um, your the saved uh, output rendered images. Um, since I've already done this before, it's already been saved in the recent um, in the recent uh, files here. So I'm going to click on that, and then once this has opened, you just press A. It selects everything, and you a click on Add Image, and that puts everything down here as an image sequence on the timeline. Go back up to the top of your uh, Blender window, click on the drop-down menu, and go back to Default there once you've gone back to default what you're going to want to do is in this uh, area here you want to make sure that once again you've set your resolution uh, make sure it's 100% scaling uh, set your frame rate and then you want to choose another you can keep it as the same output folder as you had with the, the, the images or you can change it to a different output folder click on that and here, what you want to do is from turn from PNG to FMPEG video, and click on this arrow for encoding, and then the presets uh, part here. Click on that, and go to H.264 in MP4, and this is the file format I would always use and keep all the settings as they are. And then once you've done that, go back up here to uh, the render panel and click on animation and once you've done that it's going to output it as a uh, video format which I've also done here and uh, this is what you come up with and it's a lot faster a lot more secure a lot more a lot safer than trying to output it as a video from the beginning so yeah that's uh, today's blender quick tip um, a an error-free way of rendering your scenes in Blender. Once again, 
Uh, to recap, you go into open up Blender, set all your settings here in the resolution, 100% scaling, full size. Uh, this is going to be the default for this was PNG. So once you've done uh, set all set everything here, your frame rate, everything, and your file destination, you go up here and click on animation. It animates it out as individual images. And then once you've done that, you go up here to the default, turn this to the video editor. And then you go to add, and then image. And then you find out where you've saved all those images in your computer. And then once that's been opened up in Blender, press A to select all. And uh, we've already done that, so it's going to input it as a um, strip, video strip. Go back up here, go to default. And once again, make sure all the settings are where you want them to be, the resolution, the frame rate, so on and so forth, their destination uh, folder also. And turn this from um, PNG format, image format, to FF, FFmpeg video. And then in the presets, turn this from the preset. The preset in here is empty, so we've already clicked on the to H.264 and MP4. Keep all the settings the same and then click on animation and then you've got your video uh, pretty much output without any kind of errors in it but, uh, and you save time also. So yes, that's my video, uh, my uh, Blender Quick Tip for today. Hope it helped you and uh, uh, you guys have a great day and see you on the next one. Right, bye bye.